According to statistics, only a small percentage of you who watch our videos are actually subscribed. If you're not subscribed yet and you enjoy what you see, do consider hitting the subscribe button. This encourages YouTube's algorithm in promoting more of our mental health content to more people out there. Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Before we start, we would like to thank you all for the support you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, and you help us do that, so thank you. Now, let's begin. How well do you know yourself? Besides your favorite color and food, do you know your interests, hobbies, and strengths? A sense of self refers to how well you perceive the characteristics that define you. Those who can identify these characteristics confidently often have a strong sense of self, while those who struggle with it may have a weak sense of self. So here are eight signs of a weak sense of self. Number one, you have a hard time saying no. Have you ever been asked to do something you didn't wanna do, but couldn't say no? This tendency may stem from an underdeveloped sense of self and may have to do with the need to please others and make them happy. According to Healthline, constantly needing to agree and comply with others might mean that you put too much emphasis on what others think of you to determine your own happiness. Number two, you lack self-confidence. Do you know your strengths and weaknesses? Someone who is self-confident believes in their abilities in a realistic and positive way. When you lack self-confidence, it can mean that you may not know yourself well enough to believe in your strengths. Having a realistic view of your abilities is important in developing a strong sense of self because it gives you a solid foundation from which to grow and become your best self. Number three, you struggle to define your interests and values. What do you like to do for fun? According to an article from BetterHelp, developing your hobbies is not only a great way to know yourself, but to find other great friendships. Hobbies can be something like singing, writing, or playing a sport and values can encompass honesty, compassion, and empathy. In any case, clearly identifying what you hold close can help you discover and understand yourself better. Number four, you often seek validation from others. Are you proud of yourself when you do well on a test or perform a piece of music, or do you wait for your parents and friends to be proud of you? There's nothing wrong with wanting to be praised, but if praise has enough power to change the way you feel, you may be relying on it a bit too much. According to Harley Therapy, accepting yourself is crucial to developing a strong sense of self as it helps you gain an honest perspective about who you are. Number five, you don't spend time alone. Do you struggle with spending time alone? Many experts agree that spending time with yourself is important for the development of a strong sense of self because it gives you time to get to know yourself without distractions. While it may be difficult and uncomfortable at first, enjoying some solitude throughout the day may come easier with time. Number six, you are very indecisive. Do you struggle with making decisions? If you often struggle to figure out what you want or how you feel, you may not be as in tune with yourself as you would like. The anxiety you may feel while making a choice may mean that you don't trust yourself. Your indecisiveness may be rooted in insecurity and doubt which can lead to a weaker sense of self. Number seven, you disregard your own needs. Do you have a tendency to put others' needs before your own? Disregarding your own needs may suggest that you don't value your own peace and happiness. You aren't living life on your own terms, and instead, you're mainly looking to please those around you. While making compromises in your relationships with others is important, it can become unhealthy when you start to dismiss your own needs values, and worries. And number eight, you have codependent relationships. Do you overly rely on others in your relationships? Codependency often points to a weaker sense of self because it can very easily cause you to base your own self-perception on how others perceive you. Even if these people are very close to you, no one has the ability to know you better than you. And focusing too much on outside opinions may end up skewing the way you see yourself. So. Do you relate to any of these signs? If so, what do you plan to do next? Tell us about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell icon for more Psych2Go content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.